So to get started using winds in your compositions, you're going to need some instruments to work with. In past courses that I've done, we've talked about the lack of depth found in general sample libraries and listen to examples illustrating what can and can't be pulled off with them. We're not going to do that here. I'm going to assume at this point that you understand that a general sample library will have woodwind patches, but they are usually very crude and offer little in the way of articulations and dynamics. If you look at the scope of orchestral woodwind libraries out there, we have a few major players. We have East West's Hollywood Orchestral Woodwinds. We have Vienna Symphonic Library's Woodwinds Bundle, which has a few separate libraries that are kind of bundled into one. We have CineSamples, CineWinds Core and Pro, and also CineSamples Holly Woodwinds, and Orchestral Tools Berlin Woodwinds. Because most of these are gigantic libraries with a lot of articulations, we're going to talk a little bit more generally about them. And we're going to talk about things like sound, size, cost, and articulations, just to give you kind of a scope of reference between the different libraries. First up, we'll look at the offering from CineSamples. Now, CineSamples has a couple of products that may fit your needs when it comes to a dedicated woodwind library. They have a product called CineWinds Core, and then they have an expansion to that, CineWinds Pro. In the Core library, we have Piccolo, and you can see for all of the instruments, they have a separate patch, which they call True Legato. All of the articulation patches have that True Legato in them, but they list these as a separate patch, and so basically this is without the other articulations, it's only Legato. So we have Piccolo, we have Flute, Oboe, Clarinet, and B-flat and bassoon, so five instruments there. This part of the library is 13 gigs, requires the full version of Contact, and this part of the library costs $349. Now the expansion to this, Cinewins Pro, this is kind of a 50-50 split of orchestral instruments and kind of ethnic and period instruments. So we have things like alto flute, bass flute, English horn, E-flat clarinet, bass clarinet, and contrabassoon. And then we have a whole bunch of ethnic instruments, Baroque flute, border pipes, the Irish flute, penny whistle, so on and so forth. So it's really this kind of part of this library that is the orchestral stuff that you'd normally find. So let's talk about just these two products here. As far as size, this part of the library, the core is 13 gigs. The expansion, I believe, is another 16 and change as far as the size of the actual samples. So you're looking at around 30-ish gigabytes, about 33 gigs or so. To get the bundle, you're looking at about 649, so that gives you an idea of cost. Now let's look at what this entails. Now, not including the ethnic instruments, we get a handful of articulations. They have three varieties of short articulations, what they call an eighth short, a quarter short, and a half note short. And then you get legato sustains, which are infinitely sustainable in legato transitions. And they have two varieties of trills for most of those instruments. They have a half step and a whole step trill. That is pretty much it. All of the articulations are loaded into one patch. There's not a really great way to combine articulations. So for instance, there is not a great way to combine this quarter note short with this eighth note short because the attack on some of these longer ones is not so pointed. It has a softer, slower attack to the note. It's not maybe tongued as hard or expressively, if you will. You also have vibrato and non-vibrato on just about all of these as well, which you can crossfade in between. So there is that. Now, as far as the sound, the sound of most of these is pretty pleasing. The sound of the, the flutes, piccolo, oboe, they're all very nice sounding. They give you five microphone positions here, a, a spot, close, room, and surround. Okay, that's actually four. Spot, close, room, and surround. And then they have the pre-mixed one here. And so that gives you some different tones and sounds to play with. One thing in here that uh, you want to keep in mind is all of the legato and sustain type sounds are all fairly slow. The transitions between the notes are really more geared towards slower music. 
they, it's pretty much impossible to do faster lines and runs with this library. The way the sustains work, they all have a relatively slow attack. They all kind of swell in every single note kind of, and it takes about, I don't know, a half second or so. Cinebrass actually works very similarly. It's maybe more evident here because, you know, you're, you're probably more likely to try and do faster lines with a woodwind library. And so that doesn't really work very well because the legato transition is not nearly fast enough to make that work. This does have a feature where you can speed up the legato transition. But even with the legato transition sped up all the way, it's still not fast enough. So the notes get kind of mushed together. And because each one of those sustaining notes swells, it never gets to the full dynamics. So if you're trying to do a fast line with Cinewinds, it's not going to work out very well. Those legato transitions are just too slow and they get in the way when you're crafting that fast line. It gets kind of lost like the legato transitions are eating the, the notes. So it doesn't really work. They do have a product that addresses that. And this is Holly Woodwinds. Now, this is kind of a small library that's dedicated to kind of ensemble orchestration and effects, textures, chords, phrases, and runs. So in this library, you will find a whole bunch of pre-recorded tempo synced runs in all kinds of different keys, all kinds of different scales. These are recorded from multiple mic positions. They have a, a close and a stage mic, which is pretty cool. They have a handful of patches. They have some octave patches, some kind of keyboard patches that you can play, a whole bunch of effects and things of that nature. What this doesn't have is this doesn't have individual sections. So that's probably the, the one big limitation with Cinewinds Core, Cinewinds Pro, and Holly Woodwinds is that there's not really a great way to get a flute section, right? So because they have a they have a single solo flute and that's it. You can't just double that because that's not really gonna work. You could double that with something in the pro library, like the alto flute, for instance, except that you lose basically the top register of the flute in C. And so that doesn't really work for everything. But then you could kind of stitch together maybe with the piccolo it gets a little bit tricky for clarinet too. I mean, you can kind of experiment and try and patch some things together, but you still have that limitation of the fact that you can't really do kind of fast lines. So, I mean, this addresses runs and rips and textures and things of that nature, except that they're all ensemble runs. So you can't do just a flute run, just an oboe run or a fast line. It, it doesn't work like that. It's kind of the whole ensemble or nothing basically. So that's pretty much what you get. Now, the sound of this library is, is really quite nice. It's a pretty loud library. They, they normalize all the samples um, and legato transitions do sound nice. They're just really slow. Let's talk about East West's Hollywood Orchestral Woodwinds. Now, this is a big, big library. It comes with a lot of stuff. The sound of this is really quite nice. This is another library that's kind of solo instrument based. We can look here at the articulations here. We have clarinet, B-flat, E-flat clarinet, bass clarinet, and I think that's contrabass clarinet. In a myriad of articulations here, you get a lot of stuff. They do have some pre-recorded runs. You can see here, uh, octave chromatic, uh, major scale up, major scale down, that kind of thing. They have some trills, whole tone trill, half tone trill. They have some effects and they have some key switch patches. They have a couple of different kinds of legato, which is nice, at least for the main clarinet. Uh, what they don't have is they don't have multiple clarinets. So there's no clarinet one, there's no clarinet two, but there it is. They, they have oboes, English horn, bassoon, contra bassoon. They have flute one and two, which is nice. They have piccolo, alto, and bass flute. Although some of the articulations on here, you know, obviously the kind of more obscure instruments like bass flute, they don't have all of the articulations, but uh, for a lot of these other ones, you know, the, the flute, piccolo, and alto flute, most of the articulations are there, except for the runs. This is another library that's recorded with multiple mic positions. I believe they have five microphone positions that they record in, in their own recording studio, and they do sound really, really nice. But keep in mind that five mic positions for the, the full diamond edition, 
and they sell multiple editions of this. There's a, a silver, a gold, and a diamond. But for the diamond, which has all of the microphone positions, the number of microphone positions that you have, it's basically multiplying the size of the library. Every microphone position that you add, uh, you know, it's all the same samples again. So the more mic positions that the, the libraries are recorded with and, and offer you to be able to mess around with and manipulate, the larger the libraries get. This library for the Diamond Edition is 142 gigabytes. Uh, and you also need an iLock security key, which is not provided. That's an extra purchase if you don't own one already. I'm not a huge fan of the iLock security keys. Uh, it's like digital handcuffs. And I think that's pretty terrible, but that's just my personal opinion. You know, maybe someday that'll change. But um, this runs in East West's own player. It's the, it's the Play Engine. And so that's something to consider as well. It doesn't run, it's not a contact library. Uh, Cinesamples samples libraries are all contact libraries. This is not. So that's something to consider. You can check out a lot of their demos to get an idea of, of what this library sounds like, but hopefully that kind of gives you a general idea. You know, you can check out, they have a PDF here with all of the articulations and things of that nature and some videos. So another library to check out. It, it sounds really, really nice. A lot of great stuff in there. Vienna Symphonic Library offers a couple of different products that may fill your orchestral woodwind needs. They have Woodwinds 1, which has Flute 1, French Oboe, Clarinet and B-flat, Bassoon, Flute Ensemble, Oboe Ensemble, Clarinet Ensemble, and Bassoon Ensemble. All of those are three-player ensembles. Then they have a Woodwinds 2 Library, which has the Piccolo, Flute 2, Alta Flute, Viennese Oboe, English Horn, English horn, French, clarinet and B-flat, bass clarinet and contrabassoon, and then they have a special woodwinds library as well, which has the bass flute, the oboe d'amour, the heclophone, bass horn, and contrabass clarinet. When you're looking at the bundle of all of these instruments, and it may not be necessary that you need all of them, you're looking at about 46 gigabytes and the cost is of just under 2,000 euros. You can check out the demos. Some of the demos that I heard are a little bit more dry. I believe these are recorded more of a kind of close mic position, which would make sense in the number of samples that they have in the size of the library. So you'll need a reverb plugin if you want to kind of put this in an actual space, you know, something like Altiverb to give this that kind of orchestral positioning. Just applying a reverb with a close microphone doesn't really do it. So that's something to consider too. But a lot of people swear by Vienna Symphonic Library's stuff, you know, very detail oriented, high quality stuff. This runs in their own player, a ton of articulations. You can check that out here. If you go to sample content, you can see exactly what they have going on in this bundle. Just really big with the piccolo here, first flute, second flute, the flute section here. You can see just a whole bunch of stuff. Scale runs, which is really cool. Nice that they have that. Another one for you to consider there, the most expensive one surely out of the bunch that we're looking at. And finally, Orchestral Tools Berlin Woodwinds. This library offers you the base orchestral woodwind instruments. So we have piccolo, first flute, second flute, third flute, and a flute ensemble, which has one of the instruments being played an octave above. So it's either two flutes and one flute, an octave above. And then when they get into the high register, that octave flute becomes a piccolo. And we have first oboe, second oboe in English horn, first clarinet, second clarinet, and clarinet ensemble, three players. And then first bassoon and second bassoon. And articulations that they have here, we have true legato, which all of the other libraries that we looked at have true legato as well, which means that when you play a transition between notes on legato patches, it's triggering an actual sample that's been recorded of the instrument actually doing that transition. Some of these legato transitions may vary as far as how far they sample them away from the root note. Generally, all of them will have a fine usable range, and, and that's really nice because that definitely adds to the realism of the instrument. We have sustains with and without vibrato and a progressive vibrato, and you can see here, available for the first, second, third flute, first oboe, and second oboe. The only instruments that are recorded without vibrato are clarinets. Traditionally, clarinets, you don't usually hear them with vibrato. Staccatos, up to eight round robins. Staccatissimos, up to eight round robins. Portato shorts, portato long, and sforzandos, and more. 
How about Trills up to a fifth? Pretty unique there. I believe this is the only library that does Trills with that big of an interval. Sforzando Trills, a 1x Trill, Double Tongue and Triple Tongue. These are not just re-triggering Staccatissimo samples, but these are actually recorded as double tongues are played. So you're not just hearing another normally tongued sample repeated, which some other libraries do. These are real double tongue and triple tongue recordings. Not available on all instruments, but all except the second oboe, English horn, and clarinet ensemble. It's pretty cool. Same thing here for the triple tongue. Octave scale runs, all except the third flute, English horn, and bassoons. Wind noises and key noises runs builder and playable runs. Now, that is a lot of stuff. And the reason why we're kind of looking at this more in depth than some of the other libraries is this is the library that we're gonna focus on through the rest of this course. Now, a couple of things that I think make this library particularly unique and what kind of drew my attention to it. It's a contact library. I'm a fan of contact. It doesn't require a dongle, things that I love. The sound, obviously, fantastic, right? The sound is really, really nice. This has been recorded with two mic positions at Teldex Studios using large diaphragm microphones. There's kind of a close microphone position and a Decatree room microphone position. And then they have a mix too that's available. So the mix actually loads its own dedicated samples. The size of this library is 120 gigs, but when you download it, it's about 67 gigabytes. So not a small library. Now, some of the things that, that are particularly unique, different vibrato styles, wind noises and key noises, that's very cool. Some of the patches, staccato, staccatissimo, you can add in more wind noise to taste to really give some of those flute instruments a, a real interesting color and texture. Key noises give it a lot of authenticity and you can kind of dial that in, which is really nice. Measured trills, tempo synced, uh, available up to a fifth interval. They have a playable run patch on almost all of the instruments except bassoons and English horn. And so, you know, a lot of the other libraries have pre-recorded scale runs, and this does too. But these patches, the playable runs patches, allow you to basically create your own runs because, you know, the recorded scale runs are nice, but sometimes they're a little bit limiting. You know, they only offer so many. So the playable runs are for people who, you know, like to create their own runs and it's a really, really cool patch, which we're going to check out more later. They also have something that's very unique and I don't believe it's ever been done before other than one of Orchestral Tool's other libraries, which is Orchestral String Runs. And that's this runs builder. Now what this is, is small little phrases that have been recorded in every key in minor and major scales and in other scales as well. And Basically, you can string these together, so you can do a 16th note triplet, ba -da -dum, and you can build your runs that way. And they have this, this patch, you can see right here, where you can load in different rhythm articulations. Here's a three note down phrase and a three note up phrase, four note up, 16th notes, a sforzando trill. And so these are all tempo synced, but you can also kind of take control as well. We'll get into all that later, but that is a very, very powerful feature and can help create much more realistic woodwind runs because you're not just kind of stringing together notes or trying to use some pre-recorded things. You, you have more flexibility. It's, it's kind of the in-between from the full pre-recorded scale runs and the playable runs patches. This gives you a lot of flexibility, but because you're getting more notes grouped together, you get more realism. It's more of the right transitions within the notes. And so you can get a lot of really, really super convincing sounding runs with this patch, which we'll check out more later. Now, the price of this library is 549 euros. Now, this is for their main Berlin Woodwinds library. Check out the demos of this. You'll be impressed, I promise you. Great sounding library. They also have an expansion to this library, so they call Expansion A. Now, this includes bass clarinet, E-flat clarinet, and contra bassoon. So this is, if you wanted to get that to kind of fill out things, this is another 149 euros. So if you're in the US or outside the EU and you don't use the euro, it's actually a little bit less. This is another seven gigs downloaded and then uncompressed. It's going to be about 13 gigabytes of samples. And it gives you a lot of the same articulations, legato, sustains, Staccato, staccatissimo, portato, long, portato shorts, forzando, whole tone, 
half tone trills, double tongue and triple tongue. No runs, no runs builder or pre-recorded runs in the expansion, but not something usually called upon by the contrabassoon or the bass clarinet. You probably won't miss that there. With the exception of Cinewins and Hollywood Winds, these three larger libraries probably will get you most of what you're going to need. I liked some of the things in Orchestral Tools, Berlin Woodwinds. That seemed very unique. You know, the, the runs builder I was, you know, in love with. I'm a big fan of faster woodwind runs. I mean, who doesn't love that, right? Other libraries have pre-recorded runs, but I like to have control over You know, I, you can't put me in a box. I just can't be put in a box. Now, throughout the rest of the course, we're going to be using this. We're going to look at how to install it, how to manage the samples and the size of this library. So we're going to check those things out in the next couple of sections. We're also going to look at how to use this in some different compositions. We're going to talk about some different techniques for writing for the woodwinds and timbres, combining with other instruments in the orchestra, brass, strings, things of that nature. We're going to look at some different example projects. So check that out coming in the next sections. <laughs>